Hi guys! Today we're going to look at how we can make our lives easier when creating terrain by using brush mask filters. In a previous video we showed how to create this terrain using the Terrain Tools package. Let's look at a couple of examples of how we could use brush mask filters to take this a step further. Say for example we wanted to paint snow on top of the mountains. We could do this by hand and just select the bits we wanted to paint but there is an easier way. We'll select the terrain in the hierarchy and select the Paint Terrain option. From the drop down we'll select Paint Texture. Then we'll click the plus button on the brush mask filters. There are lots of options here but we'll select Height. This allows us to set the minimum and maximum height we want the brush to apply to. This is a range from 0 to 1, with 1 being the highest point the terrain can possibly go to. To just paint on the top of the mountains, we want to exclude anything lower than a certain point by setting the minimum height. It can take a bit of trial and error to find the correct value. It'll depend on the maximum height of the terrain, but 0.01 works well in this case. We'll add a new layer and select Snow. Now if we try to paint on the ground, nothing happens. And if we paint on the mountains, just the highest points are painted. This makes it much easier to get the effect we're looking for. Next, we're going to show how we can use the slope filter to only paint terrain based on how steep it is. If you've been following our 3D platformer series, you'll be aware that we've been adding various platformer mechanics, but we're missing one vital ingredient at the moment. Platforms. Let's create something for our character to jump on by flattening some portions of this mountain. We'll choose Set Height from the drop-down. We'll set the height to 3. Then we'll paint on the mountain to flatten a portion of it. Next, we'll change the height to 5 and do a bit more. Finally, we'll set it to 7 and paint again. The area around where we've flattened is a bit too steep, so we'll smooth it out a bit. We'll select Effects, Slope Flatten from the drop down. Then we'll paint on the terrain to level it out. Now we have the ledges, we want to paint the grass texture only on the flat parts. Again, we could try to do this by hand, but using brush mask filters will make it much easier. We'll select Paint Texture from the drop down. We'll select the Height filter and click the minus button to remove it. Then we'll click the plus button and add a slope filter. By default, this is set to filter out slope terrain. So if we select the grass texture and paint, we can see the grass is painted on the flat parts only. We can see the colour of the brush changes as we move around, with orange indicating where it will paint and blue indicating where it won't. If we wanted to change this behaviour so that it painted on the slopes, we need to change the remap curve. This is currently saying if the slope is 0 then the paint weight will be 1. As the slope increases, the paint weight decreases. Let's change the curve to flip it round. Now when the slope is 0, the weight is 0. As the slope increases, the paint weight increases. Let's try this out. Now we can paint on the slopes but not the flat ground. We've just scratched the surface of what can be done with brush mask filters in this video. Have a play with all the different options and let us know in the comments what other useful things you find. Ok, that covers everything for this video. A big thank you to all our patrons. We really appreciate you helping to support the channel. If you'd like to help and also get access to the source code, you can find details in the description. Please leave any questions or feedback in the comments, and subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss the next one. Thanks guys!